Uh, just over a week ago, uh, Stanley Gouda, um, Billy Dancer, and uh, Don and I went to RK Khan Hospital. And uh, we went to go and pray for some people there. We arrived and uh, we arrived as a team, not, not an in individual effort at all. And uh, the first family that we went to was a Muslim family. And uh, I remember Stanley saying to me, he said, he said come, come closer and come and pray. So I prayed for this Muslim family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this man had an oxygen mask on, cancer in the lungs, I think it was, and uh, also problem in his, his kidneys. But uh, whether he was fi finally healed uh, or not, I don't really know. But as Muslims, they gave me the opportunity to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and not only to him but also to his family who was standing around and so I was able to declare uh, to this Muslim family the Lord Jesus Christ and we moved on from there and there was one white person white gentleman in that ward and uh, Stanley said to me he said have you noticed this just one white man here so I walked up to him and uh, I remember saying to him why the blazes would you pick a place like this to come and have a holiday? And he said, he said, I didn't choose it. He said, my medical aid cho chose it for a simple reason that I've run out of medical aid. I put my hand out. I said, my name is Sonny. And he said, he said, my name's Barry. So we had a bit of a chin chat and uh, to discover that uh, he was um, from a Jehovah's Witness background and uh, his sister was very strong. Uh, in, in, in that respect as a Jehovah's Witness and uh, I explained to him very briefly about God the Father and, and Jesus and he said, he said, he said, I, I received the Father and I received the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, yeah, pray for me so I prayed for him and uh, again um, the, the other three that were with me were, were backups, the, the, they were praying obviously and then as we were walking along and moving out of the ward as it were there was a Hindu gentleman on our right side and uh, Stanley said to me he said he said look at that man lying over there and it was just like a, a compassion just welled up in me and uh, I walked across and uh, Stanley came and um, spoke to the Indian family these Hindus and uh, we solicited from his sister that he'd had a bad fall and hit his head and had not spoken for three and a half months and had not been able to walk for three and a half months and so there again um, I prayed but uh, Stanley and them were behind me and they were praying in the spirit and it was just like a flash it was just it almost came like from nowhere when Peter and John were going to the synagogue and there was this lame man and Peter said he could see that there was an expectation from this man. So he said to me, give me your hand. He took him by the hand and he said, and he lifted him up and said, be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this lame man got up and walked to everybody's astonishment. And so I thought to myself, well, that's what the Lord wants me to do. So I grabbed hold of his legs and <laughs> I suppose the best, the best explanation is that I, pu I pumped his legs up and down, up and down. And uh, this is a man now that can't speak. And I, I said to him, I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, you move these legs. And I continued doing that. And it was, it was like I could feel a warmth in the legs. And uh, eventually I let his legs go and I said to him, I said, now lift up your legs. And he did, he couldn't lift them up all the way. And I said to him, I said, that's not good enough. You lift up these legs. So I carried on pumping, I kept on praying. And uh, ultimately, he could lift his legs up quite comfortably and quite, quite easily. And the Lord uh, said to me quite clearly, he said, I, I want you to pray for his left brain and his right brain. And for the electrical impulses to go to the left brain and the right brain. And I never heard this before. But Anyhow, I did that. I, I, I prayed and uh, I commanded the, 
the left brain and the right brain and the le le electrolysis. And uh, surely enough, he spoke. And uh, he said, uh, Amen, Jesus. Amen, Jesus. Amen, Jesus. Amen, Jesus. So this was a man uh, who had not spoken for three and a half months. And those were the first words that he uttered. So I, I believe that uh, further healing uh, must have taken place. Uh, God doesn't do things halfway. But I think uh, the bottom line is that the impact that it had made on, on the family and even the other people in the ward because we were under scrutiny. They, they were watching us. And so I just thank the Lord for those opportunities that he presents.